5 seconds to go. Start. I am happy to be with all of you here today when you are deliberating on a subject which is of vital importance to the welfare of our rural citizens. When we became independent as a nation, our founding fathers dreamt of a country where every citizen would be free from poverty, ignorance and disease problems which had plagued millions of our people for centuries. While we have made remarkable progress in many spheres, since then it is still a matter of serious concern that large segments of our society still suffer from these age old issues. It is only by empowering people and by granting them an inalienable right to a livelihood can we ensure that such intentions and dreams get translated into reality. In this context, the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act is a path breaking legislation. It is a landmark in the economic history of our people, in the regime of rights enjoyed by our people and in our efforts for social equity and justice. It entitles our rural poor to guaranteed employment to a means of sustenance, a means to avert distress, a means to secure two square meals a day and a means to lift them out of the trap of poverty. The legal guarantee of 100 days of employment in a year to a rural household is unprecedented. India had set an example that I am sure many other countries will follow. The passing of this legislation is also significant because of the widespread discussion that it generated. I draw your attention to the debate in parliament. I urge you all to draw the correct lessons from what was said in the debate. Today, you are gathered to consider how best we can deliver on this promise to our poor. The Narega is a unique social safety net because its beneficiaries are not passive recipients of doles, but will become active participants in the creation of rural assets. While we are committed to extend the Narega to the entire country, our focus is presently on the 200 most backward districts. Our government will ensure a completely non-partisan choice of districts. Our performance in these 200 districts will yield useful insights and lessons while extending it across the country. Therefore, the quality of implementation of the act in its initial phase is of critical importance. Focus shifts from outlays and expenditures to ensuring that employment is provided where needed. Of course, this has to be tied with tangible works resulting in the creation of assets. But the focus on employment is clear and there should be no doubt on that. This will require a lot of hard work by states such as in creating prospective plans, having shelves of projects, establishing mechanisms for providing work wherever required, setting up institutions for monitoring and technical support, designing smooth 
financial flows and providing for accountability of the entire process. A task of this nature has never been attempted before and hence the importance of a serious effort in this regard. The foremost requirement is establishing institutional mechanism for implementing the guarantee. The Panchayati Raj institutions with the assistance of government agencies are central to this. Panchayati Raj institutions will have to be geared up for it. This is also an opportunity for strengthening grassroots democracy. You would need to ensure capacity building of these institutions so that they may discharge their responsibilities effectively. Besides the panchayats, other sporting agencies like the district administration and line departments should be properly trained for the task, all agencies responsible for the implementation at all levels should know that deficiency and deviations be a cause. The guarantee requires timely transfer of resources to the implementing agencies so that works can start on demand. States will have to ensure that wage employment is given within 15 days of demand for work. If this does not happen, states will be liable to pay unemployment allowance at their own cost. Under employment guarantee schemes, there is much wider scope for participatory planning than before with the Gram Sabha selecting the works needed. Local communities and panchayats enable local area planning with proper technical support, they should be able to develop feasible plans well in advance to meet the demand for work in 15 days. I believe that many development initiatives have been impeded not so much for want of resources as for want of proper perspective planning. The act provides an opportunity for creating durable assets that strengthen the livelihood resource base of the area. Those who work for wages in creating these assets should gradually more into self-sustaining employment. The nature of works suggested in the act offers an opportunity to states to re rejuvenate their natural resource base and banish poverty. A careful selection and execution of works has the potential to transform the rural economy of the state and to change the very geography of poverty. The Narega must be a transparent being people's program. Stop.